Hi, this is Anthony Taggart from theswingengineer.com. This is part three in my series explaining the power accumulators. The second power accumulator is the cocking and uncocking of the left wrist. At address, Mr. Kelly suggests you set up with a level left wrist. By this he means the wrist bone and the edge of the hand to the forefinger's knuckle form a straight line. When accumulating power, we decrease the angle between these two lines. Then, during the downswing, we release that stored power by uncocking the left wrist, increasing the angle. At impact, the left wrist has usually returned to its level alignment. But this isn't the inline condition the power accumulator is seeking. The left wrist will continue to uncock and release its power after impact until we reach full extension. Here, the left wrist is fully uncocked and the left arm and club, the primary lever assembly, is at its maximum length. Mr. Kelly called the second power accumulator velocity power, and for a couple of reasons. Firstly, there isn't a wide range of motion when cocking and uncocking the left wrist, so you can release that accumulated power very quickly. This helps accelerate the club head through impact. The second reason is due to a concept I've discussed in a previous video, the swing radius. It's much easier for us to rotate our bodies quickly when the club head is close to the centre of our rotation. Cocking our left wrist helps reduce our swing radius and increase our pivoting speed. This translates to a faster club head speed at impact. For a more detailed explanation of this, see the description box below for a link to my video on the swing radius. There are two ways in which we can uncock the left wrist and release its stored power. The first is to do so manually. Here we use the muscles in our forearms or the straightening right arm, the first power accumulator, to push the club head away from ourselves and uncock the left wrist. The second method is to swing our left arm and allow centrifugal force to pull the club head away from us uncocking the left wrist automatically. The pressure point for this accumulator depends entirely on how we're uncocking the left wrist. If you're doing so manually, pushing the club head away from yourself, then you'll feel the pressure point in the right hand in around the same place as you would for the first power accumulator. If you're using centrifugal force to uncock the left wrist, then it's slightly different. Instead of feeling a part of the body pushing against the left arm or club, you're having to sense an outside force, the centrifugal reaction. The place to do this is in the last three fingers of the left hand. Here, you can feel yourself pulling on the club during a downswing, and then centrifugal force attempting to pull the club from your hands and uncocking the left wrist in the process. So that's the second power accumulator the cocking and uncocking of the left wrist. If you'd like to read more about the accumulators and other concepts from the golfing machine, you can do so at my website, theswingengineer.com.